Hello everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to make attractive thumbnails so that your videos stand out and people feel like clicking on your video the moment they see the thumbnail. We are going to learn two types of thumbnails. The first one is going to be screenshots. We are going to take the screenshot of a video. So you can see here, this, uh, this is the song that I uploaded recently. Now I want to take a screenshot from this video. Select a part of the video which you would like to display on your thumbnail. I find this to be pretty good. I'm going to full screen. And now you press Windows and Print Screen. You can see a slight f flicker there, and that means the screenshot has been clicked. So you go to PC and Pictures, Screenshots. You'll find it here. So this is what I have selected. Now we will go and open our Photoshop. Open the file. This is the actual thumbnail. Send PC, pictures, screenshots. There it is. Now these black spots we do not want, but we have if our title is relatively long we might need this area so we are going to use content aware for that take the marquee tool and draw a selection in this black area you can adjust it Then shift F5, get aware. Yep, good. Uh, and we will not be okay. That is screwed up a little bit. Yeah, that does it. Oh, we should have duplicated the layer, but it's okay, we won't be comparing anything. It's always a good practice to duplicate the layer. We won't be needing this black area because no content aware will work there. Make sure the right amount is selected. Hit enter. Now that we're done with this, create a new layer and add the text, whatever you want. I solo enter create another layer if you want to add another text so that you can work on separate layers you can change the font over here but I'll just stick to this font move tool and move it around control T to transform you don't need to worry about the font size because you can just use the just use the transform and you need to click on separate layers even you want to change the letters or words so and if there are some parts of the screenshot that are a disturbance you can content aware them as well you need to click on the, the base layer make the selection shift f5 enter there it goes and if it looks shabby just use your clone stamp tool sample this area and paste it in that should do it and your thumbnail is ready save as change the format to jpg and i'm going to save it in the desktop saved you can rename it whatever you want nope thank you then okay that was the first scene, uh, first thumbnail the second i shouldn't have closed photoshop i'm such an idiot For the second one, thumbnail, we will be 
for example i have shown you how to mod a car and if you are going to do something which has where you start from where you start on a subject and then you work on the subject and then you obtain an end result on the subject so what you want to show to the people on the thumbnail what you want to show the people in the thumbnail is that you started here and you ended here and you want to show them how you reached from point A to point B so they will get a brief summary in just one picture so they might want to click it for that we will be opening since if you're working on Photoshop and you have both the pictures, uh, you the, you will already be having the base picture. Then you work on Photoshop and then you save it as a JPG file. Then you open both of these. They'll come up in two different tabs. There you have it, two tabs. You need to crop out. A part of the you don't have to be accurate on this one and then you need another one because this uh, this is pretty standard 1920 by 1080 hit ok this is where our thumbnail is going to come make sure you crop equivalent parts in both the videos so that there will be some consistency I'm just going to crop the car which is the main part of the video if you're going to uh, if your car is the subject of the video okay so this much and I'll hit enter similarly here crop hit enter see if they are matching yep pretty much go to the new composition since these are background layers we can't directly bring them in so we take the move tool select this background layer duplicate it use the move tool bring it here then I'm going to this picture duplicate this layer bring it in they'll be in their own separate layers so you don't have to worry about anything control T to transform and now you can see that you can't reach the points where you can manipulate the image so you press control and zero so that you can get a full screen view then hold shift and alt bring the picture size down hit enter do the same for the other one keep them uh, they must be of the same size I think this picture was a little too big let's fix that there might be some problems with the cropping because you can't be 100% accurate we can fix that later apply transformation yep you can set it anyway you can set it like this and like this Shit, sorry you need to select the layer like this and like this and then you write something over here or you can keep it like this this is how I did it and write something over here and here same method we'll be using uh, use the text tool type in what you want control T increase the size hit enter uh, another layer text type in what you want tutorial is what I'm going to want and uh, move tool control T is the size yeah that's good put it in and in this background layer you can double click on it to unlock it then you can add a gradient or something 
make it look cooler see like this and then you save it as a same process jpg or a png whatever whatever file format you want okay, now i can close photoshop okay i don't want to save it i don't want to save it i don't want to save it then you go to youtube so this will be how to add a custom thumbnail go to youtube my channel video manager you can see your videos here go to edit you might not see a custom thumbnail option anywhere here but this is where the actual thumbnail is see these three are default or uh, YouTube takes random screenshots of your videos and gives you these suggestions the last one is our custom thumbnail box uh, you can see the option change image here you click on it and then you can browse through your photos select it and it will upload and then you click on save changes and your thumbnail gets updated so that was it thanks for watching